James Kaufman, World News Report, today, July 27, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at our estimated planetary KP index, and we've seen no geomagnetic activity today whatsoever, although we've had five very strong M-class solar flares all directly facing Earth pop off today. We started with a 4.21 and that peaked at about 240 UTC time. You can see that right here. Uh, that came from Sunspot AR3766. That was quickly followed up by an M3.1 that lasted over an hour in M territory. That long-term M flare was generated by Sunspot AR3762 and it peaked about 545 UTC time. That was followed up by an M2 flare. It was generated by Sunspot AR3767. That flare, the third flare of the day, peaked around 1040 UTC time or about 3.40 a.m. Central Time. We've just had two more solar flares, kind of a one-two punch, and that was an M2.7 generated by AR3767, followed by an M3.4. Now the first one, the M2.7, that again was generated by Sunspot AR3767, peaked around 1806 UTC time or right around 106 here central time again quickly followed up by another stronger M flare an M3.4 solar flare directly earth facing that peaked around 1840 UTC time these are almost sympathetic solar flares and I'll be able to show both of them to you in just one moment Heading over to spaceweatherlive.com, we see that the M4.2 solar flare that occurred around 221, peaked at 237, generated by AR3766, has been the strongest flare we've seen in over 72 hours. We can see them all right here, followed by an M3.1 that peaked at 546, from AR3762. Uh, we see the M2 that was generated by 3767 that peaked at 1040. The M2.7 generated by that same sunspot, AR3767, peaking at 1806. And ladies and gentlemen, this flare here, the M3.4, I believe came out of AR3762. They just haven't filled it in. Although I believe it to be visible on our next slide goes solar ultraviolet imager, again peaking at 1839. We have a 10% chance of X-class solar flares for today. They say a 60% chance of an M-class solar flare. Well, we've had five of those events. And a 99% chance of a C-class flare which we're running a C baseline and have been for months, so that should be 100%. Our current value is a C8.87, which is a very high C flare, in fact. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we had two of these sunspots that were generated by AR3767, as you can see here. We had one of them generated by ar 3766, seen here the biggest of the day. We had one, I guess, two generated by AR 3762, the 3 1 and the 3 4 here. All right, going over to HMI Intensogram, we see that we have 11 sunspots Earth facing that may be geoaffected towards Earth, including a few that are on the parting limb here. Uh, the sunspots that have flared today 
This has been one of our bigger problems, AR3762, with the M3.4 and the M3.1. AR3767, also in the mix, with two solar flares. AR3766, right next to it here, has also been active. Although AR3765 looks to be more complex than both of those. Let's continue. All right, over to Go Solar Ultraviolet Imager. We're able to see the last two solar flares here. The M2.7 looks like it has generated a chrome mass ejection. There might be a filament situation associated with that flare. And AR3762, well, you can see it also flaring just afterwards. Those are the last two flares. The M2.7 followed by the M3.4, both directly or facing. All right, over to Lasco C3, we see some solar flares here. It's going to be hard to determine which ones these are, although NASA has modeled a few chrono mass ejections that are earthbound for, I believe, the 31st, which means in about four days. So we're going to keep an eye on that, and I will show you that model as well. Again, this is Lasco C3, and we see at least two solar flares here, with one with a halo effect, which would tell us that we are, in fact, going to get hit along with the NASA model that says the same thing. Now, I don't know if y'all can see it here, but there's two more rays coming through the picture here. And I'll go over that again. There they are. Do y'all see that? It's almost like a secondary source of energy moving plasma, as you can see, through our solar system. Very, very strange indeed. Over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we're able to see the last M2.7 that popped off right over North America and the Caribbean here. And that was quickly followed up, again generated by AR3767, quickly followed up by another M flare, even stronger, the M3.5, which was generated by AR3762, as we saw, again, directly over the United States. Everybody enjoyed a very, very strong C flare after that, and that is an ongoing situation. Over to NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center, they haven't touched a thing. It's the weekend, they're off, right? Why don't these people work in shifts? There's thousands of them working over there. You would think, since they're wrong all the time, they would at least be on all the time in shifts. But nothing has been changed whatsoever after all those flares. All right, over to our Solar Dynamic Observatory, SDO. You should see all the action coming out of these two areas here, which we do. This is all today, as you can see here. And that verifies everything they told us with another instrument. That was STO-193. This is STO-171 here. And we'll take a look at the day as well here. Starting now. And all of our activity should come from these two areas here. Although this is two different sunspots that are generating solar flares. And this is the stronger of all of our sunspot groups. It's beta, delta, gamma. And in fact, well, it was associated with the last solar flare that we had of the day. The M3.4. I guess we had the day started with an m 4.21 from this area here. We'll take a look at that. It's even a little bit too. There it was right there. And again, these two areas 
are the only areas that have been popping off two sunspot groups here and AR3762 here. It's going to be AR3766 and AR3767 here. Now, in fact, we do have numerous sunspots coming around the back side. One of those was responsible for the X14 solar flare, and they'll all be Earth facing here very shortly. This is the NASA Goodert's is with spiral, and you can see that it looks like a double whammy, two solar flares with a direct hit on Earth at around the 30th or 31st. Although NASA is the only one to model this thus far. Let's see if we can see maybe the 30th. Three days from now would make perfect sense. With that said, God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World.